The customers, boss! The customers! What is it, Tattoo? The customers! The customers! Hurry, Tattoo! Get the girls! You must make our customers feel welcome! <sighs> Smiles, everyone! Welcome to Fantasy Coffee Shop! What's going on? I don't know. Uh, just play along. They could be dangerous. Welcome to Fantasy Coffee Shop! What is your desire? Uh, what would you like? Uh, some jelly rolls? No, how about some glazed donuts? That sounds good. We'll have a dozen glazed donuts. Surely you must have dreamed of something more than glazed donuts. Whatever your heart desires is yours at Fantasy Coffee Shop. Uh, really? Could you squirt some jelly in them? Jack, squirt some jelly in them, boss! No, Tattoo! Our friends must want something more than glazed jelly donuts. How would you like a tiger hunt? Gee, I don't know. Is that anything like a bear claw? No, a tiger hunt in the jungles of Africa with native guides and big guns and swamps. Oh, and we're here at our lunch hour. That doesn't matter. You can have any fantasy you want, even one involving a midget. Uh, I, I really don't think so. And well, let's just forget about the donuts. Uh, see, we're late as it is. And besides, bye. Tattoo, you idiot. I told you never to mention Fantasies of midgets in front of customers. Sorry, boss. You scared them away. Well, it's probably our last chance. Well, let's go to a movie or something. Wait, boss! Another customer! Good, good. Don't mention anything about midget fantasies. Welcome to Fantasy Coffee Shop. May we help you? Fantasy Coffee Shop? What do you mean by Fantasy Coffee Shop? I mean any fantasy that you may have can come true at Fantasy Coffee Shop. You mean like that Fantasy Island? More or less. You mean any fantasy I want? Any fantasy you want. Here, I want this. What kind of a coffee shop do you think this is? The jig is up. It seems like it's the end of the line for you. One last chance. Are you gonna come out here peacefully, or gonna have to come in shooting? Not a chance, copper. There ain't no way you're gonna get me to go back to that zoo. Well, if that's the way you want it. Come on, boys. Hold it. Jake, we got your mother here. She says she wants to talk to you. Hey, Mom, is that you? Yes, it's me, dear. Why don't you come down from there? You were always such a good boy. Oh, there I go again with those sweeping generalizations. You weren't always a good boy. You did all the naughty things the little boys do. You were bad once or twice. You were good more than you were bad. On the whole, I'd say 70% good, 30% bad. That's not too bad considering the kind of life you had to lead. <laughs> Your father leaving us and, oh, those were the rough years, weren't they, Jake? Remember the time when we had to walk from Memphis to Minnesota just so you could get your flu shots? And what about the time when... Uh, Jake, uh, Jake, uh, can you think you can get your mother to shut yeah, up for a little while? I, I sure did, Cap. Uh, look, Mom, they ain't gonna get me. Well, then one more thing, Jake. Do you have any Danish up there? Uh, the cherry or blueberry? Well, cherry would be nice. That's 35 cents. But for you, a quarter. Isn't that sweet? Well, Jake, I think I got Father Hooligan. What? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, Father Hooligan from the old neighborhood. He wants to talk to you. I think he can save your soul. What is going on here? This is last time I leave you in charge of the shop when I'm out of town. Who are all these people? Who are all these people? Yeah, 